Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK into your homes. Welcome to my channel. First time you're passing through, you can click up the thumbs up, the thumbs down, or you can subscribe, or you can share, or you can interact with my existing subscribers. And existing subscribers, thank you for your support and love respect. I wanted to talk about a video I received um, showing a man going to Jamaica and the plane is absolutely empty. So he's been upgraded to first class. Now, this is the impact of the ban imposed by President Trump on intercontinental airlines, which has resulted in a lot of people just not flying. People are afraid to fly, people are wary, and you can understand being up in the sky, whether it's for three hours or four hours or five or ten hours, not knowing what people have got and you're in that confined space, it is scary for anyone to actually fly. But for me, with this guy, he's the only one on the plane. I think there's some kind of security with having people around. And I don't know if I would like to fly on a plane that is empty. Just me, the pilot and two stewardess, stewardesses. I just really wouldn't want that. And I'm surprised that the plane actually took off. Because is it cost effective? Not unless they're expecting to bring people back. Anyway. Lufthansa, British Airways, Norwegian Airlines, they're all struggling. They're talking about layoffs, temporary layoffs until things get sorted out. But you can imagine they're talking about getting loans and they reckon that it's, it's never been this bad. They reckon that business wasn't this bad when the SARS epidemic came out, when the aftermath of 9-11 and nor the 2008 financial crisis. None of these things affected businesses or the airlines like the coronavirus. And I think the media and having access to the media, I mean, it's so much wider now is why it is so different. Remember back in 2008, yes, we had YouTube. Yes, we had um, the news, but YouTube and social media and Twitter, it's just, it's its the news now. And so information gets out so much quicker. And so it has its downsides, especially for businesses who can't stop it. And so because of that, people have just got so paranoid. They have just decided to defer their holidays or cancel their holidays and just not fly. Um, some people, I mean, when I look in people's baskets, it looks like they're on a holiday. I mean, yes, they've got a few essentials, but a lot of people have got a lot of goodies in there. And we're growing in, we're growing up in a detached world. If you know more and more, people are not engaging. People are on their phones. Couples going out on a date, both of them are on their separate phones. Going out for dinner. People are on their phones while they're waiting for the waiter to come and serve them instead of interacting with each other. People are not talking. People have gone. People have withdrawn. People have detached. And so this is just an extension of what is already happening. We've already been conditioned to isolate. We've been conditioned to detach through social media and through our mobile phones. So this is no biggie for a lot of people. In fact, it comes as light relief to just get away from it all, to not have to engage with anyone. Some people are grateful for this, this reprieve. And it's quite sad, really, because I'm, I'm wondering what's going to happen when things go back normal. Will we go back normal? How long is it going to take for individuals to be convinced that it's safe to interact with other people? How long is it going to take for people to in reintegrate with others and to socialise again? People might just put up an excuse and make an up excuse and extend it indefinitely. As long as they've got their food at home and they've got their essentials, who knows? They might not want to come out and socialise with other people. A lot of people, when they socialise with people, they force themselves to do that. Sometimes it's just um, 
conditioning and what's that word I'm looking for? Um, conforming. Some people, they just talk to people just because they have to or they feel they have to or to be polite. They don't really want to. So something like this that makes you insular, that isolates you, comes as a welcome reprieve for a lot of people. Sad to say, but it's true. Anyway, I've gone on long enough. Let me show you the video. Book a flight for go Jamaica and look at the flight entry. First in my line, we get the upgrade to first class. When we go sit down, down here, so when we can go first class, I go sit down. It's really viral. If I never coronavirus, no will in a first class after all. Flight empty, look there. It's at the middle class now, and it's empty. So you can imagine you have to first class empty. People, people, look. Coronavirus make everybody run off to the plane. Oh my God. You got an empty flight going to me. Nobody, 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 nobody now going to make See that? Empty flight. Empty flight. So first class, you have to sit down. You have to sit down there to the pilot. Empty, empty. So economy is empty. First class is empty. And he's been upgraded to first class because what's the point? There's nobody else on the plane. But like I said, I don't know if I would envy him. Nice to be in first class, but I think the whole point of being in first class is that you can compare yourself to those in economy class and kind of think, yeah, I've arrived. But if you went on the plane in first class, I mean, it's not really going to do you anything, is it? Who are you going to talk to? Anyway, um, let me just make sure I've covered most things. I mean, there's been a lot of loss of, lot of, loss of trade. Um, there's been a lot of withdrawal of scheduled flights. Um, what else? Might have said um, businesses are businesses like the airlines and social events like um, big um, public events. They are suffering. Um, shows are suffering. Concerts, but shops are benefiting. I mean, I can imagine their profit margin how it must have increased over these last couple of weeks. I mean, no matter which shop you go into, I mean, most of the most of the um, shelves are bare. I mean, it looks like they've stopped going for the essentials and they're just picking up anything for the hell of it. It was interesting, though, because tinned fish was one of the recommended um, items to buy, and yet there seems to be stacks of tinned fish. Maybe people don't like tinned fish. Um, but, yeah, so what else is there? I think, oh, and just in case you didn't understand what that um, guy was saying, for those of you who are not Jamaican, basically he said um, he's on a flight to Jamaica. The flight, the flight is empty. The plane is empty. He calls it middle class, but I think he means economy class. And first class is empty. So they've um, upgraded him so that he can go and sit near the pilot. And he's got the whole plane to himself. So I don't know if he gets champagne. I'm, I'm sure he'll get some nice meals. But I wonder, well, I wonder if the people haven't just shown up and these planes have provided for more people or whether they knew that there was only one person flying. I really don't know, but it is kind of eerie, isn't it? So we just have to hope that this thing passes soon. We all get together. We can all integrate. We can all start traveling again and make this world a better place for everyone. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.